Now, in this session, I'm going to explain how electrostatics is used in dust extraction. Let's assume that this is a chimney right here. This is a chimney right there. But inside this chimney, there is what a mesh. This mesh you're seeing here is connected to a negative potential. And uh, these electrodes here are, it is more like a foil, but round like this, you know. The, it is connected to a positive electrode. So in other words, this mesh is negatively charged and this is positively charged, these two. And right here are pans. So what happens is that we have smoke coming in here. So as this smoke comes in, it goes through these wire meshes and as these smoke particles come out here, they are negatively charged as they move up. So as they gain that negative charge, as they move up, they come in here. Remember these electrodes right here are positively charged. So these uh, negatively charged particles are attracted to uh, the sides so they go and they stick they stick to this negative to this positive electrode the, ne the negatively charged particles will go and stick to these positive electrodes and so as a result you'll find that this smoke that came in here with all the particles and whatever because these particles have been deflected by this electrode you'll end up having clean air moving out of this chimney at the end of the day so this kind of uh, dust extra this extractor was it's good extracting dust from this you know dirty air is moving in here by the time it is coming out of there it is clean air so that is another application of electrostatics um and of course the particles or the soot that has gotten stuck onto here is later shaken off and it is dropped into these pans so for those that may want a write-up for examination purposes you can simply say that the smoke right here is made to pass through a wire mesh as you can see and the wire mesh a is made negatively charged by connecting it to a negative potential so as this smoke passes through this mesh it is negatively charged and definitely Another electrode up here, you can call it any letter or electrode B. This is electrode A, electrode B. You can call it electrode B and say another electrode B is placed high up the chimney and made positive. The smoke particles are attracted to this electrode. And so when the smoke particles are attracted to that electrode, they make the gas that is going through less smoky. And of course, you can mention that the suit that gets attached here is shaken off later on and dropped into the pants. Now, this method of making sure that, you know, dusty air is made clean is what is also used in a more advanced setup. The idea behind an electrostatic precipitator is that as flue gases enter into, you know, this setup, they'll use the same principles like I have explained here. And at the end of the day, the gases get out when they are cleaner. In a way, uh, this is in factories that, you know, emit a lot of dusty particles. In order to protect the environment from pollution, they use what we call an electrostatic precipitator, which works so in this using the same principle, and it ensures that you know the particles that are getting out are clean, or they, and that protects the environment from air pollution, and that's how electrostatics applies in dust extraction.